crazy game last night in Houston. Kawhi and the Clippers, still without Paul George, faced the Rockets and James Harden. And James Harden was masterful once again. 47 points, 17 in the fourth quarter. Richard, so many Look are critical. That. So many are critical of his style of play and the Rockets style of play, yet they keep winning games. How many wins will it take before people start realizing that this works? Uh, well, it depends. You go back to the Suns, right? When Steve Nash won his multiple MVPs. And there was a, seconds or yeah, less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There was a couple of times where I felt like they had a chance to win the title, but ultimately mm -hmm. the defensive juggernauts slowed them down. That's why Steve Nash had never been to a finals, right? He was a great scorer. They had tons of weapons. There is a similar coach there. Uh, and mm -hmm. if you look at it, so yes, this does produce points. It is fun to watch, but it's very similar to shooters winning an NBA championship. That's why Charles Barkley famously said a shooting yep. team, a three-point shooting team has never won a championship. Where the game has changed, the game has evolved. Uh, Golden State proved that 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 fact wrong and i think houston in order to prove that dan tony's system and we're just going to try and outscore you can win a championship so i was watching this game last night with some friends and james harden is just doing things i haven't seen before yeah like the side step backs and then getting to the lane and everything he the does and deep three if, with ease and we've seen teams try to double him and they did last night and he would break it they've seen, seen teams shade him to the left seen teams let him drive the lane like what is the best defensive tactic to try to slow down this warlock of the basketball court i don't know if there is one i i, I want to say like he is, is that doubles right now? yeah no no but that's what i'm saying especially with the way the rules are so you're a lot you can be a lot less physical and good he point. is a master at that's drawing fouls Good point. Uh, Left-handed, so he's got a little bit of awkwardness to him that players aren't used to seeing. You're afraid of fouling him on a three-point on a three-point shot. This is similar to when Kobe Bryant was going through that stretch where he was just scoring everything at any 81s yes. and and 47, 40 points in 15 straight games, like that type of stuff. I don't think there is a way to guard him, right? But I do believe that this, when the game does slow down, when the game does change in the postseason later in the year, not, that's where you've seen those struggles. And mm -hmm. it's just like any great player until you do it on the biggest, the biggest stages. And we're not, we're the, hey, they've been to the postseason. They've I mean, been they've to been a conference. You don't have to win the championship to be a success. That's not true. That's not yeah. true. And I, and I mean it from a standpoint of like, I'm not comparing myself. What I'm saying is like, we're comparing him to the all-time greats. We're comparing him to the Michael Jordans, to the Kobe Bryant, to the LeBron James. Mm -hmm. Those are the people he's in the same conversation with. He's up there with Wilt Chamberlain numbers. Yes, yeah, he's, he's earned it with his performance. Yes, so ultimately, once you get to that stratosphere, the next thing we need to see is it generate championships. Like, And I think that's what his goal is, but that's where I think some of the critique comes in. Well, there was some more critiques being thrown around last night. Because okay. Pat Beverly, famously an agitator, known as a great defender, you know, he's Wildly accepted as a great defender, yeah. um, except for a gentleman named Russell Westbrook, who disagrees. Let's listen to Russ. Pat Bev trick y'all, man. Like, he played defense. He don't guard nobody, man. Just running around, doing nothing. It's not. As you've seen, what happened, 47. All that commotion to get 47. Pat Bev tricked us. Pat Bev tricked us into believing he's a good defender. All he does is run around. It is worth noting, while James Harden did have 47, he was 0 for 6 against Pat Beverly. So, is Pat Beverly just running around? Did he trick us? Or is he legitimately one of the best defenders in the league? I'm going to say both. Oh, I'm gonna oh, say both. oh, hot take. I'm going like to say it. both. I'm going like to say it. both. And, I this like is, it. and this is why. A lot of the agitation is... Uh, just to like get you out of your game. So that's not really defense, right? Like he's not this great per, per, uh, like perimeter defender, but when he's locked in, when he's just playing good on ball defense, he's one of the best in this league. So it is both. He is tricking you with all the agitation and all the hype and all the loudness. And it's, there's some Draymond Green in it yep. where it's like he's going to get away with saying more and doing more because he plays like that all the time. But ultimately he is a good defender. And don't, don't forget, there was a little bit of history with him. And oh, Russell there was Westbrook a lot of history and, between and the, the two and of them. the knee injury. Yep. And that, now, I'll say this. Pat Bev, I would take him on my team 10 times oh, yeah, out of 10. Of love him to death. Of course. The play that he did against Russell Westbrook, he didn't intend to, in, uh, to, to injure him, but it was doing too much. It was doing, it was too, doing much. too much. And the guys have, like, dribbled up, like, oh, I'm going to call a timeout, then go and score. And he wasn't trying to do but it was, like, a little you know, too we, much. We've all seen it. Now, it was a little too much. There's, there's one thing I want to say. Jalen always says about loud points. Like, someone like Russell Westbrook scores loud points. Mm -hmm. Kawhi Leonard scores quiet points. I think he plays loud defense. Yes. See, when, when he makes a defensive stop, he's clapping. It's, he's letting it's, everybody it's, know. It's, it's, like, he wants the attention. So, I see, like, there's a little bit of that. He kind of, like, 
makes himself seem like a better defender, but at the same time, he is a good defender. He's a good defender. It's like Draymond yeah. Green. Draymond yeah. Green. Draymond Green. When he does something, he ah, yeah. you know. And, but look, those things can energize your teammates. Those yes. things can energize your. They can energize the fans. They can energize like everyone. It doesn't mean he's not genuine. No, it's he's not, not genuine. doing it to to trick us. But I've seen both players, right? Do be loud where it was like, eh, I don't know if that's a point is like <laughs> yeah, being yeah, loud. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. You're just like yeah, screaming you just jump for off. the sake. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like, yeah. yeah. You're just screaming now. So there was James Harden's wizardry, Pat Bev's defense, but the best moment that happened last night in Houston Doc, Doc, was this. Doc, and son. Doc Rivers Doc and, son. and his son Austin Rivers. See, Doc Rivers gets a tech. Austin Rivers just screaming for his own dad to get a tech. Oh my God. I love it so much. This relationship is just layered upon layers upon layers. And it's my question for you is what is the text exchange between the two of them after the game? Oh, it's awesome. I, I kid you not. Like these are moments that like I think as a dad you would be proud of, right? Oh, yeah. These are these are awesome. Like, I wish that I was I could be a coach and have little Richard or little Phoenix like team me out. And I cuss them out too. Like sit your little, you know what I'm saying? Like just, just sit your. I would go hard at them too. Like I'd get thrown out for cussing him out. If you like, if you like study the history between these two, yeah. it's it's just so interesting because everyone's like, oh, it's nepotism. He got this contract. His dad's a coach. But like the two of them kind of go back and forth a lot. There, 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 there was some awkward moments there, and they caused tension in that Clipper locker room. And it's like, look, Austin Rivers can play, right? He's an NBA player he really struggled oh, he, and he really struggled early on in New Orleans and yes. a lot of people thought Doc bringing him in was pretty much saving his career because at that point in time he hadn't really done a great job playing and he was kind of struggling for being a top pick Doc brings him in he starts to get a little bit oh, of yeah, rhythm starts to, starts to get confidence and you know okay you no know, he's a player you know one thing I love about Austin Rivers what when he gets the ball you can't tell him he's not Michael Jordan oh like the can't. confidence that he shows driving jumping into two centers and, and bouncing off oh, like, you can't tell him he's he not will, Michael Jordan he will drive into a team meeting yes. like, <laughs> yeah. by himself. Yeah, and they complain like, to the refs. There's five yeah. guys there? Yeah. Hey, let's go talk it. to them with it. the ball. I, got I love this it guy. so much. This is my turn. What's up? Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. Don't forget to download the ESPN app. And if you want more premium content, which you do, make sure that you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. See you soon.